Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor. And today we're going to be looking at an absolutely free asset called the Optimized Ropes and Cables Tool. You can get this awesome asset on the Unity Asset Store and on GitHub. And I did feature it in the top assets for April for this month. So you can check out that entire video if you missed out on any of the free assets. And this asset is all about creating wires, cables and ropes so easily. It's really optimized. It uses the line renderer or you can use a mesh component. You can animate them. You can add wind to them and they're really easily and you can move objects all around even when they're attached. So I'll show you everything you need to know and we can get started. Do be sure to check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. And also check out Unity's best of summer sale which is now on, which is all the assets which sold the best which will be 50% off. All the links will be down below. So you can navigate to the Unity Asset Store and you can find the optimized ropes and cables tool. You can actually find it on the developers github too if you would prefer to get it there. And I'll put both of the links down in the description. If you just click to add to your assets, you can then open that up in Unity. And when you're in the Unity editor, you can see the optimized ropes and cables tool. You can click download and import. What I did, I just downloaded it from GitHub and I dragged the entire package in. Now, the best thing to test this out is by going into the example, going into the scenes folder and opening the example scene. Now, everything in this example scene may well be pink like the asset on the end and if you need to do something about that you can go to window rendering and then render pipeline converter make sure you tick material upgrade and click initialize and convert if you're using urp you could double click this documentation and it will take you to a web page which will just show you the pdf document which will have some simple instructions now if we look at how these are ropes are built and then i'll give you an example of how to use it you can see in this case we can say grab this telegraph pole and we can move this around and you can see that the wires are connected and they do stretch out uh, just like this. You can see we've got different examples. We've got a pair of headphones which are attached to a computer and then other bits which are attached to different poles and ropes and they have something in the middle. Now let's say we just want to create one of these ropes. You can see that it is a game object and it has the rope script on it. You can click on this big title to go to the asset store if you need to. It has a start point an end point and you can have a middle point if you want it to you can adjust the width the stiffness the dampness even the length of the wire and if you do have a midpoint you can actually adjust that you can add the rope mesh component if you want this to be made out of a mesh rather than using the basic line renderer do be sure to check out Loretta studio because there's a brand new bundle with 30 unity environments and i've got a 50 percent off code so be sure to check that and i'll put the link down in the description too you can even add a win components to make this look like that it moves in the wind and you can see that these different things can be affected by animations and other things within there so let's just say in the middle of our scene here we want to create a new rope how do we go about doing that what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new 3d object because so you can actually see this so i'm going to add a sphere here so you can visualize this sphere so this is going to be the start of where my rope is you can actually get rid of the mesh render if you didn't want to be able to see it but this is just a way to test it out so i'll just call this my new rope and i'm going to duplicate one of the points and i'm just going to put this as my start point my start point is going to be here i'll duplicate that and add a new one called endpoint and we'll put that over this side as well so as you can see when they're all selected you can see that my rope is this object and these are going to be the points where it connects from so if i select my new rope object add a component and add a rope you can see that this automatically adds the line renderer component which will render a line for us to use and this is more optimized than anything else we can specify a start point so you can see we drag the start point in and the end point in there and you can see we have got the start of our rope you can see i can select any of these endpoints and drag it around as if it be connected to another object if i go back to my rope object you can see that with the rope settings i can increase the quality or decrease it if i want it to be more performant and it won't be as accurate we can create and increase the width we can increase the stiffness so it moves much less when we move it around the dampness and then the length if we need it to be a much tighter type of rope and of course like i said you can adjust the midpoint with where this rope should bend from and if you want to you can add mesh or you can add a wind effect which will just add a script to the object now with the line renderer you can see that you can adjust the settings on here but it will be looking for a material so i'll just search for rope textured and you can see i've got an example of the rope here and as you can see i've adjusted my rope so it looks like it connects to my keyboard and i just add the endpoint 
and parent that to my keyboard object. Now, when I select my keyboard object, you can see that it will move around with this object as if we'd attached it to it. And as I said, that these points that you create can be used with animations and you can animate the components and animate how the look of this and it will affect the rigidity and the visuals of the rope in itself. So I think it's a really cool asset that you should check out because it's absolutely free and you could have a little bit of extra life to your game and be able to create wires for absolutely free much more easily. So do be sure to check out this asset and the last part of the Unity Summer Sale which is 50% off all the best selling assets for the Summer Sale. And also check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons. A big thank you to Peter Steiner, Barry Shooter, and Jennifer for an amazing support. And big thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.